testing out the atomic beam flashlight. This is the second time that I've done it. And uh, the last time I did mostly a focus on the beam. So you can narrow, see how it like gets wider? So you can make it a narrow beam, hence the atomic beam they call it. So right now I'm in the garage in total darkness. And you can see that's like, you know, 15 feet away. But I can like brighten up the whole whole room. And then um, it's the beam though is super bright. So you can't even hardly see it so bright. It's probably reflecting it. But if I go outside here, I'm going to go out the door. And I'm going to shine it across the yard here. So like really close the beam is super bright. But I'm going way across the yard. And you can see those are potted plants over there. So the, the beam is very bright. Now just to give you an idea, I'm going to go over here and get a regular flashlight. Okay, so you can see the see the atomic beam is right there. And then I'm going to get a regular flashlight. And you can see that's a regular flashlight. So a regular flashlight. Atomic beam. Well, well. You can see the difference there. And then one more time I'll go outside and do it. This is where you're really going to see it. So the beam. Way across the yard. Now I'm going to use a regular flashlight. You can't see anything. I mean that that the regular flashlight doesn't even make it over to the other wall. You can see the regular flashlight right here, but the beam is super. It's way more powerful. See how the beam is just compared to like a regular like two dollar flashlight from the hardware store. So that's the atomic beam. That's my second review. I think it's it's worth the money. Best flashlight I have. Super bright. And that's it. Atomic beam flashlight.